Good afternoon and welcome to our video update. The following is a brief overview of what is happening around the local. This past Sunday, the Skills Trades Proposal Meeting was held at the local Union Hall. Thanks to everyone who took the time to attend and review the trade-specific issues for the upcoming 2024 bargaining session. April 24 or April 28, 2024 is our next general membership meeting. There will be an election at this meeting for the election committee members. A reminder that the proposal meeting on May 5th, 2024 at 10 a.m. in Woodstock at the Woodstock Auditorium is for all Unifor Local 88 members. This meeting is your opportunity to review the proposals submitted for this round of bargaining and vote on the proposals that the bargaining committee will take to the bargaining in September. So plan to attend as this is your collective agreement and your future. Child care is available. Please make sure you pre-register by calling the union office 519-425-0952. Uh, we had a meeting this past week with Trombletts Independent about GM employee promotion going forward now that the plant is back to running. Please watch the TVs in the plant and our website for more information to come. May is Mental Health Awareness Week. A limited supply of mental health t-shirts is available for purchase from our off-site union office or online at Local 88 website under the helpful link tab, Local 88 Shop. Cost is $20. In closing, please take care of yourself and be nice. And reach out and help someone if you can, if in need. Thank you. Hello. Um, welcome back to our video. Uh, vacation. Vacation is finally going this week. We are going across the plant right now on B-Shift uh, as we speak. This is going to be done face to face where possible, but we do have about 190 people that are currently off work, plus other people who could be off on vacation on B-Shift. Um, if you are off, you will need to fill out a proxy form, uh, which are available on our website, as well as the email addresses of the reps you can send them to. We will try calling people once if we do not have a proxy sheet, but right now we need proxy sheets in from the people who won't be here because we cannot slow down the process and we'll keep it going. If you do not have 32 hours of paid vacation, the company will lay you off for both weeks. If you have 32 hours of paid vacation but less than 72, the company will lay you off for one week. If you have greater than 72 hours, you will use vacation for both weeks. The goal is tr just to try and provide everybody with money for both weeks. Uh, the proposal meeting. This uh, week from Sunday, May 5th, will be our proposal meeting in Woodstock at 10 a.m. We will go over all proposals at that time and then have an open question and answer period at the end, and if anybody has any new proposals they would like to uh, uh, mention. All of our meetings for bargaining will be done in person and not done via Teams or Zoom. Rotating shifts. Bill Harkness has come up with a video on Talk It Out Tuesday that states we are likely gonna be on one shift of production in the main plant for the remainder of this year. Currently, we have an agreement in place to rotate two shifts until October 1st. We have five months to see what the forecast will bring, and we'll also be in bargaining in September. We'll have a long talk about this on May 5th at the proposal meeting to see what our plans are for beyond, uh, beyond October 1st. Uh, the battery update. The battery plant is now running. There's still lots of kinks to work out. However, every week is getting better. There are five main mini stack lines in the super phase area, and production right now is only coming from lane five. However, we hope they have lines four and five running this week and continue moving along to try and get all five running. So far in the super phase area, we have built 848 modules, which is just over 42 of our big 20 mod batteries. In the packed main line, they want to start trials in June and have a production target launch date of July 15th. Most of the equipment for packed main line is now on site and being installed. Equipment is now being powered on and they've begun working through the integration process. Safety buyouts have also begun. The core team in the, super pa in the, 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 core team in the PAC mainline is just starting operational readiness activities such as racks, desks, station boards, etc. They expected to start onloading the team leaders and PAs in early June. Benefits. The Benefits Committee would like to remind everyone who are on full sub that they are required to apply for regular benefits every time they are laid off and obtain a new denial letter. In closing, I just want to remind everybody about May 5th. We hope to see everybody at the proposal meeting in Woodstock at the auditorium. And we'll have a good discussion, a good discussion on all our proposals and what the plans are for beyond October 1st.